Hi there, welcome back. In this section, let us try to build a basic template for a website using ChatGPT. And in this section, we are going to have two lectures. The very first lecture, let us take the help from ChatGPT and build a skeleton of a website, like let's say navbar, header, and a footer, and some section content like that. And in the next lecture, let us try to, you know, um, style and, you know, let us try to get the effects in that uh, website and also let us try to you know uh, bring more responsiveness with the help of bootstrap and let us do stuff like that i'm pretty interested in this topic let us try to play with chat gpt and uh, get the more you know uh, output from it and uh, try to execute it okay so okay as i as you can see i just log into chat gpt home screen and uh, before we ask you know questions uh, chat gpt uh, i opened my visual studio code and created uh, a folder called web underscore dev okay this is where i'm going to actually put my html and css code which we receive from uh, chat gpt so let me create a file just like a uh, home dot html okay just like that hit enter that's it now let's go back to chat gpt and start asking the questions hey chat gpt uh, let's put like hey can you help me help me with uh, a basic website template okay just hit enter let's see how it is going to respond it is saying sure here is a basic HTML template for a website. Okay. Let it finish its task. okay so it has built a basic template for a website using html let's see here what it has said uh, this template includes a header with a navigational menu a main section for website content and a footer with a copyright notice you can customize uh, customize and extend this template to fit your needs okay let us see let us copy this content copy code copied and go back here control v paste it Control s save it now let me go here this web underscore dev directory if you can see here this web page is coming as it is a html file right so let me double click that hey come on see how it looks like okay now let us try to you know uh, style it and uh, uh, let us try to get it in a proper way okay let me go back and ask chat gpt can you help me styling it simple it understood my question right let's see how it is going to complete this task it's good good okay it has completed writing css code and it is saying something if you can read this yeah. this style this styles the header with a light gray background and centers the text the navigation menu has no bullet points and is centered the main section has a white background and centered text the footer is styled with a light gray background centered text and a gray color for the text you can extend this csf to fit your specific needs it is saying don't worry let me copy this code css as it, as it is a css code we should put put it in our style tag okay uh, under this head section especially here title section let me open just you know angular press like that let me write a style see it is coming close that it auto closes the element there and control v that's it simple right so i pasted 
the CSS code what I copied from chat GPT screen and control save I just saved it go back to you our web page and uh, try to run this wow that's that's awesome right see okay now this footer is here i don't want to see this footer here i want to put it a uh, fixed place at the bottom okay let us ask chat gpt now okay hey can you can you write code for Good for header and footer to be fixed at top and bottom. Okay. Let us see how it is going to respond. So it is writing some CSS instead of you know rewriting the entire HTML. It is not required to you know modify the entire HTML because we can handle all HTML elements with the help of CSS. That is what it is trying to do. Let us see how it is going to be. Okay. It's writing. Okay, what it is saying with this updated CS, the header and footer are fixed to the top and bottom of the screen, respectively. The main section has a padding of 80 px pixels from the top to uh, from the top to account for the fixed header. This will ensure that the header and footer stay in place as the user scrolls through the page. Means if you move this page also, this header will be at a fixed position at top and footer will be at a fixed position at bottom okay if you don't trust let us copy this code and just like that go back to this and we have to remove this entire css what we copied and here early because it had written the same css with the updated version so copy paste that control s let me go back to my web page and refresh it wow super right guys see this is coming at top and bottom and three nav bars are there sorry in a nav bar three buttons are there and along with the section body section okay this is a basic template uh, that we designed with the help of chat gpt if you are interested in designing more you know uh more proactive approach or more proactive way let's say you can always do that and uh, try to design yourself uh, on a paint or you know somewhere and try to ask you know questions relevant to that design what you are imagining and ask the chat gpt and get your work done guys okay uh, it went very well that's all about this lecture see you in the next lecture in the next lecture let us you let us ask chat gpt to design no uh, a web template using bootstrap css3 html5 and jquery like that okay that's all about this lecture guys see you thank you so much